This is Clam13 today. Welcome to another, or my first FIFA 17 team review. So this is the first one of the official game. So last time I was meant to do this one, it all went a bit pizza on. Basically, the recording didn't work. I ended up only recording the journey, and it was turned up. It was too late before I uploaded that I realised it, that it didn't work. So I only uploaded the journey on that day, which I believe was the first episode. But today we are doing Liverpool, obviously the club that I support. Um, next week will next time that I do it, it will be Inter Milan. We are going to randomise the league, and we have to get a team that is five and a half stars. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. No. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Okay, that's interesting. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, wait there. What the hell? They have. What? They had. <laughs> that's a bit of a glitch. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, Jesus Christ. Right, so we got the team that we're actually playing next week. We ended up playing against Inter Milan, which I'm going to actually wear, put this kit on because I think that just looks class, that kit. Right, so let's have a look at the team management. It looks okay. It looks like the right team. Actually, no, it's not. Can no, should be shots. starting. Right, let's get into this game. See how we do on world class. Here we go. Right, it's a poor start from us. Carrius had to make a good save from Icardi's shot, but was smashed at him. Good save by Carrius. Carrius has already been tested to the limits. Benega with a corner cleared away from Milan out to Medel, and we have it away. Right, let's counter, boys. Firmino onto Lalana. Lalana, sprint speed, please. Oh, okay, standard charter player of the month. I think you did rubbish. Yes, Henderson, that's more like the captain we know. Mane. Mane. Mane, look at the piercing run. Nips it onto Coutinho. Coutinho! Oh, that would have been lovely. Right, now we've got our first corner of the game. Coutinho whips it in, and it goes towards whoever that is. The problem is with the new corner system, you don't know who it is. Like, you don't know who the player is, unless they have, like, different colour skin, or you only have a full white team or something. I don't know. I just don't know. Icardi has scored for Inter. I wish I actually have that kit. But oh no! I mean I'm not actually going to moan that much if I actually like I'm not going to moan that much because like oh my god because they've just because I support Inter. It just had to be Inter didn't it? It's just so typical. Danny, Icardi's a top striker though, he's now proven as a brilliant striker in the world. He's probably in the top 100, surely, come on ref. Matip shot, I mean header even, just nearly got knocked in by him, so close, just so, oh, Lovren tried to get there but he just, he just did no use to it at all really, or oh, Coutinho, latch on to that. That was, he must, he has to have escaped there. He, that was a massive escape. I can't believe um, Ede is not starting, if I'm honest. Perisic just got a yellow card, but he is through. Klein, make a good chance. That is, wow. Is that a yellow? It's not a red. It's a yellow, at least. Yeah, yellow. Jean Mario with the shot, so close to going in, but just went agonisingly past the post. I think that was a bit of a risky goal kick. Okay, that we escaped with that, I must say. But Coutinho now, you need to step up your game. You've done much. Come on, Coutinho, make the run, knock it back. Who's this? Why now, them? Hit it! Oh, it's not gone out for a corner. There is the half-time whistle. We are losing 1-0 to Inter after Maro Icardi's strike. Might make some subs, depending on who's on the bench. Right, we have Sturridge, Origi, okay. Am I bringing Origi on? 
I'm gonna bring Arigi on for Coutinho. You never see that again. Well, no. It was a great wait. It's still on actually. A great shot from Lalana, whipped in by Arigi. Firmino! Oh damn it! Not many highlights have happened in this second half so far. But it was a great shot from Lalana a minute ago. Don't touch it. Right, I've brung Sturridge on for some inspiration because he really Firmino hasn't done much. Storage with an immediate impact. He's got a, a goal already. I'm going to start. His first touch of the ball. And he's actually freaking scored. Bang, bang, bang. Daniel Sturridge. I love him as a striker. He's just been knocked out the squad from Firmino's form, Mane's form, Coutinho's form, Lalana's form, all them players. And he's dancing. He's dancing. He's an absolute beast. Just for if it goes to penalties, because obviously we go straight to pens if this doesn't, if there isn't a goal. I reckon Clavan's better than Lovren at penalties. Just because if you guys are an OG Liverpool fan, do you remember when Dejan Lovren took a penalty against Besiktas? If he scored, we stayed in it. If he missed, we were out, and he missed, so we were out. So that's why I'm taking him off. What a save from Loris Karius in the dying moments of the game. Four minutes left. Benega with a corner, whips it in. Carrius' ball, come on. Origi, break. Studgers, Studgers, just pace it, Sturridge. Sturridge, spread it to Origi. Origi, please, Origi. Yes! Oh my God, he scored! Go to the camera, go to the camera. Come on, D fuck Origi, the substitute. On for Coutinho, bang, bang, bang. Right past Han Danovic, no chance for him, and we have won the game, surely. And Saudi could do nothing. Absolutely top quality counterplay from Sturridge and Origi. Look at Klopp, he's got mental. Beautiful, beautiful man, Divock Origi. And also, guys, let me know is it Origi or Origi? Like, I call, sometimes I call him Origi, sometimes I call him Origi. I used to call him Origi, but I don't anymore. Right, oh my god. I think we just need to hold it. Oh, Mane wants more. Mane bloody wants more. Okay, no he doesn't. Lalana's got that. Oh shit, no they, no he hasn't. Klein, catch up. <laughs> what was that, you little boy? Bloody hell. Oh, you know that's not a free kick. Shit! I've just killed Jovetic. Like, he's down and everything. Bugger. Oh, red, yes! Bang! Why now doesn't even get a yellow card? Bang! We've won the game! What a team review! Our first one of FIFA 17 actual game. Should have been our second. Come on! Who got man of the match? Who got our man of the match award? An 8.9 from Sturridge, who got himself a goal and an assist. Which I suppose is pretty decent, considering he was only on the pitch for 45 minutes. Or not even that, actually. L not even that long. But, yeah. Let's see. Team review. Right, so I am going to give Liverpool a rating of 9.3. So I'm not being biased just because I support them. These first few team reviews aren't going to be biased at all. If they lose, I'll probably give them quite low. But I'm also going to give them a value for coins if you should buy their whole squad a value of 8.3. Because I think not all of the players, obviously there was obviously players on the bench that I didn't use, but not all of them performed up to potential. Like, for, I must say Firmino, maybe a bit of Coutinho, maybe even like a Henderson. Or a Klein who got a yellow card didn't perform to what I would have thought they would be, where they would have been crucial players. Whereas Sturridge, who probably is going to be expensive at the start of the game, really, Mum, and Origi, and pro possibly even Clavan will be great for your starting teams. But apart from that, guys, that is the end of this team review. Please like it, subscribe to Clavin13, and don't forget to send to my second channel and my third channel. The Young Son on J Squad is out. Peace.